Yeah, so I've fallen in love a couple of times. Um, I didn't think I ever would, but I did. Um, because there's no manual to queer love, so half the time, um, the thing that I assumed was love was actually just, you know, response to kindness. And um, and I feel like many people can relate to that. You know, when someone is actually kind to you and, you know, and not sees you as a human being and not, you know, some, some weirdo or someone who's confused. When someone sees you for you and, you know, and, and celebrates you for you, holds space for you, you might be tempted to think it's, it's love. And for me, I've had those moments. And um, I'll talk about the most impactful one. Um, I think when I was 21, I, 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 was, I had really strong feelings for someone. And, and I, looking back, I think the reason why there were strong feelings is because he was my ideal. You know, he was older, he was educated, he was good looking, um, he had a job, and um, he was an. I don't call him an activist, but he was literally, he was on the forefront of doing things, of, you know, creating change. So I was really, I was in awe of that person. And I remember when we were talking and we were doing things and I was like, you know, I really like you. I feel like me and you can have a future together. Yeah. <laughs> so I used to think that the person you fall in love with is the person you'd marry. Huh. Hmm. Clearly that's not the case because I've been married like think let's say 50 11 times anyway so and i so i confided in my feelings for this person and this person and, and god bless his soul because he just sat me down and told me look this is not love this is whatever you're feeling is maybe appreciation whatever whatever but it's not love and give yourself time you'll realize it of course i was heartbroken i was like how dare you you know try to do that man thing where you tell me my feelings are not valid and so on and so on and so forth. But it was one of the best decisions that, uh, it was one of the best discussions that I've ever had about feelings, about re- feelings and love. Yeah, one of the best dis- discussions because I knew that just because I feel something doesn't mean that I have to go into it blindly, I have to, you know, converse, I have to, we have to, we have to agree to not become my friends, but we are friends till now. A year later, I got into shenanigans with someone. <laughs> and I'm using sh- the word shenanigans because it is in no way a relationship. It's more like two people who regularly have sex with each other, but one person is still crying after their ex. At that time, the situation worked. And it was like a negotiation. Like, um, I'll hang out with you and your friends. Because his friends were really amazing like he was out and he had a, he had a circle of friends that were affirming and they were loving and and basically they were the first group i think after school after college who knew that someone was queer and they were like not crazy or bible thumping and evangelical about and that shenanigans came into that space so i can't even say that you know oh it was a specific time it really it lasted for a specific timeline because it was on and off and um but what I do remember is that when I let go, when, that when I left, I really left. And and it was an important lesson about boundaries. Half the things we went through or the things that we put each other through, uh, if I had boundaries, uh, they wouldn't have, you know, happened. I remember I had that feeling that during that entire time we were together, I used to feel like, ah, this is not me, this is not the life I want. So just walking away from that, um, really helped me to be to know that if I'm ever in a in a relationship, it has to be decided on. You have to agree we're in a relationship. We have to have common values, you have to have um, a common goal you're working towards. We have to like it has to be something other than just being together and drinking on Saturdays and you know chilling with friends. Like it has to be it has to be more than that. I listen to people's relationship stories and I'm like huh like that sounds like your friend <laughs> that doesn't sound like your boyfriend apparently they're the same so I mean that goes to show that 
how much I need to learn about queer love. But but letting go and not being bitter and not and not just focusing on oh am I not with someone? Why am I by myself? You know, just that has made me live a very healthy queer life. I see people fixated on finding the the one. Yeah, of course, to each his own. But I also feel like there is such joy in just being with yourself and you know and just discovering queerness on your own terms without having to discover queerness with someone else because that's what relationships do. Like if you're not solid in your identity, you merge, you will, you know, submerge, you do things with others. And I'm really grateful that my first even in my first relationship was able to still be myself. And that's and even after and even after it ended and I started doing my uh, movement building work, there are some things that I've taken from from there from that relationship where um, I am more than just a gay man. I am more than just someone. I'm more than just someone's boyfriend. You know that there's a bigger there's a bigger picture. There's I'm here for much more than just romantic love. Do I want it? Yes. Uh, am I sad that I don't have it? No. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Um, there's there's so much joy in letting go, and and ultimately, just creating space, uh, pockets of love every go. And I think for me, my pockets of love are in my chosen family, and in, with my friends, uh, with the people I spend time with, in my uh, with the okay with the workplace culture that we have that in every place I feel affirmed, I feel loved and I feel seen and I don't have to hide. Um, even with even when in situations where I sometimes it's and I know it's, it's a privilege, not many people are able to say to fully say that, you know, um, I feel seen or I feel I feel hard or I feel valued. And it's very hard for me. It's not it's rare. It's not everyone has it. But it's one of the things that I'm really grateful for in my life. Remember when we were kids Those days the sky so blue Remember when we played games And the world wasn't yet so cruel Remember when I lost you once When I let go of us, yeah, yeah Remember how I felt when you left in my heart torrent 